What's up guys, it's JPZ, and today is starting a new series of ranked gameplay analysis, where I basically send in your clips, and I break them down and see where you can improve and where you have room to grow. So on the first video, we got a gold two player here, His name is Joom, with some numbers, we'll call him Joom for short, and we're gonna take a look into it. First, he shows me his rank, that way he's you know highest during this season was plat three, but he dropped down to gold two, looks like he's teetering on the edge of gold one. So. We're going to go through this match, skip through some sections that are not needed, and we'll start with the analysis. So it looks like we're starting off on Villa, and we get a Thatcher ban. I'm going to mute some audio, that way I don't hear some conversation in the background, so you can go over the bans. Thatcher and this site, Thatcher and Cali, while wow, they really don't want the walls being opened. Okay, so we got two of the ability to clear any type of... Bandits or mutes or anything like that out of the way. So either vertical play or grenades over the top are going to be the way to go in order if you want to clear things. So let's see how that plays out. Cav. Kind of a wasted ban in my opinion, but we'll see what you guys ban instead. Some solid bans on this is both Mira. If you know they have a pulse player, pulse is solid because pulse is actually pretty devastating in a couple sites. Mira and Echo are two solid bans. Clash is a waste. So they ban Clash. So we have... Two wasted defensive bands and two solid attacking bands. I never, unless Clash has his glitch, don't waste your ban on Clash. The percentage chance that someone's going to actually play Clash is so low that it's not worth banning her. It's you're typically wasting your ban. Typicals Aviators, Aviator Trophy. Right now, to me, the success rate on Trophy I feel has been higher than Aviator, but you got to defend it both. Either either way, it doesn't really matter. You're going to start off on Bandit, knowing that Thatcher and, uh, <laughs> Thatcher and, uh, what's her name? Callie are both off the board, then that's a pretty safe pick. Doing a Mirror Strat. We got Capcan, Jaeger, and Valk. Valk's really strong on the site in general. A lot of good placements for her cams. Capcan messes up so many people, especially if they're coming from bedroom side. A lot of people do not check their doors, do not drum themselves in properly. So, actually, pretty solid lineup. Do some loading. I'm assuming you're going to bend it probably where the mirror positions are <clears throat> as well as this behind bar would be a good choice. Looks like you're setting up for a run out. Fast forward a little bit. Bring in some windows. I'm going to get an early pick. Turn some audio back on. No, no, mirror, 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 mirror. Low keep Staying creeping. Back. Keeping your hitbox minimized, keeping yourself a good angle. And very aggressively on the bedroom. Actively hear someone about above you, so you know someone might be coming from the side, which is not bad. And this is a tough angle to fight against, unless they open that window, which case still you're gonna be elevated, so they probably will not see you being there, and you're droned out. Bailing from that. Pretty safe, safe play. Still gonna waste time because they're still gonna have to clear you out if they come from that direction. Making it very safe, checking all your corners. Minute 43, one loss on each side. But you're kind of roaming without a purpose. You're looking for things, but you're not holding down a specific area. You're just kind of roaming for roaming's sake. Now you know someone's repelled on the window next to you, so you're in a pretty good position to counter that if it comes in. That was a risky peek, but you came out on top of it. If he was upside down, you were dead. Where? Where? 90, 90. Asking for P, asking for locations is a good call. She's dead, she's dead, she's dead. So not a bad play by you. Nice Granted you survived that peak on top of red stairs, then you're in a good position to push 90 and you still had Jaeger GG. protecting behind you. Not a bad round. It's not over yet. Going to round two, you've already got your own trophy. Having a bandit in play, knowing that you have the Thatcher and the Kalioff is still a good pick. I mean, hell, you could do a lot more with it if you wanted to play Kaid, if you wanted to do Mew, all of them would function pretty pretty well in this scenario. 
but bands break pick regardless. Especially if you want to row. No problem. Skip around, so get reinforcements, and then we're gonna go, I'm assuming, right back downstairs. <clears throat> right down to the basement. Fast forward a little bit. Yeah. Stay in cams and give follow-ups. You make an early pick. Giving you a very early advantage. Diffuse and Mozzie. You have Diffuse? Okay. Yes. Good call telling your teammate to go back. Regardless of it, now collapsing together and holding that, not a bad idea for roamers. Unless they send all four at you, you're in a, you're in a good man advantage. Now he bails from you and you're still holding an angle, so this might become questionable unless he plays from above. He's playing window. He's completely left you alone. So now you're by yourself holding the bomb. And he gets picked off for his trouble. One is upstairs. Because he gets kill hungry and doesn't try to hold the bomb. He just messes off by himself. So that Mozzie, if he were to stay downstairs with you, would have a much better time. Obviously, not critique of you, just general. You can't really control what your teammates do in this situation. Especially solo queue. <clears throat> that being said, knowing that your team, the team is going to be collapsing around the bomb, probably not a bad idea to back. Getting rid of that air jab is pretty clutch. And because you got the air jab, you're able to easily pick off the Nomad. I nice shot. Bringing back around, trying to get someone coming towards Red Stairs, but you're pretty actively being a hassle them knowing someone's roaming but you still have so, uh, air jab in that door to deal with now he knows where you are gonna rush me. this situation bailing probably would have been a good play but now you can't cross in the study and they're making a cut off nice pick knowing they're probably going to be made some nice shots should have been dead 4 HP but you caught him running so you're in a you know, put yourself in an advantage. He put himself at a disadvantage. I went downstairs and you're picked off because you didn't hear the... You we're running and we're, weren't able to hear him walking in the hall. And 4 HP, you die with little resistance. Nobody has a cam on him. No, there's no cam there. There's no there's no cam in that hallway for the person who was asking on the enemy team. But I, I mean, you set yourself uh, you set yourself up in a good position in terms of for flank watch, but your teammates had to hold sight. Mozzie Mozzie heavily messed up by not playing the bomb with you. If you guys both would have held that bomb together, you guys would have been in, in a good position. Abandoned again for the same site. They have a Frost, Jaeger, Legion. Oh, so you got two anchors. Frost, depending on how he sh how she plays, and the Jaeger. Now your traps. Looks like you're already roaming in study. Trying to get an early pick. Could very easily backfire. He may again gets an early pick. You guys have been in the lead on defense so far, both of these rounds. Let's see how this one if this one turns out any differently. They're coming from window of trophy. Which window? Window of trophy, the the connector that's next to the trophy. Yeah. <coughs> The red stairs is a pretty good position to defend that jump in. You're going to go all the way up and around. No one's checked the cam yet. Haven't checked 90. 
low peaking the entire idea. I, I haven't seen you get on a cam once because you can check your own 90 if the camera's still up with all the cams down. Cam is down, but you did not even see, check to see if it was. Missed the shot, melee randomly, and get air jabbed. Not enough patience. Your teammates kind of do all the work here and get slapped for their process. You either have to go around or get yourself triggered by the air jab. You know where she is? So both people died on site. So you're jiggle peeking away from where objective is. Make yourself have a long time to get the site. They could have, she should have planted a long time ago. And you would have had a hard time retaking. If she's going to push into you, which would be nomad throwing or waking, taking too much time to where the case you can just push easily. Yeah. 19 seconds is nomads throwing the round. You should have, you should have had to push into her. You took way too much time to get back to site. The fact that she didn't plant the fuser was her throwing. You did not deserve to win that round whatsoever. If she just would have planted, you would have lost very handily. So that's on the Nomad being a very bad player. Not really your play. She had diffuser. She had sight control. I think she had another air jab too. So she could have air jabbed off one of the connections. She already knew one of your air jabs went off. So she could have locked off study door and planted uh statue door and then planted. And she would have had an easy W. She was just somehow looking for you for some reason without any information. So we'll, we'll, we'll chalk that up for her being a very bad player. Cause that was rough. <clears throat> Going IQ deal with, well, Echo's on the board and Valk. So yeah, IQ is a pretty good pick here. Albana for possibly opening up some walls and Jackal's in play too. So Jackal's a fantastic operator. So your team, team composition, pretty solid. No move with grenades, but you have ash with, for some destruction, so it's not too bad. Oops. All right, so you're leaving drone outside for yourself, and then you're checking your other teammates' cams, grabbing your drone, and pushing sight. Didn't check your door. You're exposed to the other window right now where you're drowning. So if they punched once, you're dead. And Jaeger jumped outside. And you get killed by collapsing back after he jumps out. Now you're exposed to both the door and the window. Not the safest position, but you think you're okay. Now you're playing IQ. And I'm waiting to see when you're going to pick out. All right, there we go. Now we got used to utility going. Haven't checked for cams yet, but playing underneath. I've been getting rid of any of them from the, to the position you're playing. I believe that's a hard thing that you're next to, that you're firing, trying to fire through. One was killed from either 90 or on site. Came in with the scanner. Interesting. Not the best decision, but I guess you had a team advantage, so. You actually were trying to shoot through the, the, you weren't trying to get rid of the echo drones. You're trying to get rid of some of the other utility. So, had been on the actual site to get rid of those utilities instead of being below would have been better for echo drones because it's tougher to see them from. I think I'm not sure if you can see them from the from, from the floor. It depends on your location. If you got up on top of a table or something, you might be able to see the echo drones. Uh, but depending on your location, it'd be harder to see from the from the distance. 
So, not the most productive round there. Go with your team as as IQ to be able to find those drones would have been a better scenario. Same spawn, pick up your drone, move in. Seems like you have a very set pattern in your approach. At least this time you checked the door, which was much better. Last time you ran right past it. It looks like you're going to open up the same window, which was pre-hit. That should ring some bells for you, and luckily you get a kill. Good response to that. Yeah. Hopefully that triggered in your mind that, oh, someone pre-hit that. No calls and your solo queues. It's tough. Now it's 2v4 and you got a whole boatload of time. Right now you're focused on getting rid of roamers. Now it's 4v1. In a bad situation, clearly. You're less than half health. You've just entered site. A minute 43, your whole team's dead. This is not on you, clearly. Well, this round loss is not going to be your fault. <clears throat> Take your corners, not fully, could have been hiding close. Now it's supposed to be pushing stairs on you, and there he is. Not much you could do, but you put yourself in a position where you knew exactly where you were going to be, so all you did was look library and pre-fire. Someone took IQ from you, looks like you're rotating to Zof. With a heavy utility meta, good operator choice. Monty, Jackal, Therm. Probably a trophy hold, so Thermite, I find, works better than Havana in most cases. But you still have to get rid of the utility anyways, so probably going to be irrelevant. This spawn here is responsible for more deaths than anything else. For future reference, I never spawn here. It's way too easy to spawn people there. Just... FYI. The angles are too difficult and they're too tight. It's way too safe to jump out and then still get back. Luckily, they're not jumping out on you. <clears throat> Although this pre-hit. That's something, because someone took damage. Within one second this happens? Does he instantly get shot? So almost spawn peaked? Because I missed the damage there. So I think I fast forward a little bit too too fast. Yep. Too, like, too easy. I'm telling you, that's the easiest damage that, that pulse is gonna put out. That spawn point is not very not as I said, not not a safe spawn at all. I see more people throw rounds on that attack than anywhere else just by spawning there. Ruins or the main gate are always the spawn points. Never spawn there. All right, so looks like you're going to try and push into bathroom. Going to try and use the concussions to give you information. Looks like you're going to peek with your face. You have no drones left, so... And you get slapped because you didn't wait for your Monty. Lack of patience is what gets you killed there. All you do is wait for your Monty to push in. You would have got all the intel and you could have played off of him. But now he's by himself and you're dead. He's got only an IQ left versus three. So that's your fault for, for just not waiting for the Monty. So. Lots of separate 1v1 engagements rather than playing as a team, especially as a Monty. Regardless of the solo queue, group queue, whatever the case may be, play off your Monty. It'll put you in an advantage. Now, it's tough sometimes playing off of Montes you don't know. I know that, but always try. Especially in corridor situations. A lot easier to play in corridors than off of bigger rooms like a uh, statue, for example. That's, that's tougher. Wow, that was some latency there. Sophia again, no hard breach at all this time. Ying, Jekyll, Ash just going for fragment power. This is, seems like a frustration round for you guys. Based on picks, plotted outside. Your default camps are still up. Yep. Now they know who's out there and who's attacking from where. 
Who's the jackal early? There's another early. They're pushing below. Give me five. Far not looking not looking too good. One V five situation. Where? They can call out guys. I don't know where. No no call outs. Either. This is kill. Good job, dude. Got a nice little kill there. Clearing out the roamer was, was the right play because if you don't, you're gonna get flanked and making that situation. You wanna force everyone in front of you. This is a winnable situation if you can force as many 1v1s as possible. Enemy detected outside is uh quite triggering, as you can probably tell. But in this situation, I don't know if the fuser is gonna be the play you wanna go for. I wouldn't have shot that cam if someone was on it. Now he's coming. Now he's collapsing. But you might be able to put yourself in an advantageous situation because he might be trying to go for a laundry door. Uh, that door again. Well, the only reason he knew you were there was because you shot that cam. And no one was on cams the entire time. I haven't seen anyone jump on a cam. So that probably puts you at a disadvantage. <laughs> And your frustration shows. <laughs> Understandably so. Being in a 1v5 situation is never never enjoyable. Unless you win, obviously. Another bandit play. You got Echo for the first time, which I can't believe no one's played Echo yet when I'm being on the board yet. Mira, Legion, Valk. So at least you have three anchors this time around. So you and Valk should be the ones roaming. Regular reinforcements. I'm not going to focus too much on the reinforcement phase. And you're going to go and roam as you have been consistently. You hold underneath. They're already coming in. Baz a little bit when you get shot. Rotating is positive. Yeah, it seems like there was multiple there. Rotating around is probably the positive thing for you to do there. Not sure where the Legion got that kill from. I'm not seeing him on your screen. It looks like he's coming from main stairs. And you do not hear the sprinting coming your way. And typing out in anger. But yeah, yeah I, I could hear it. I was wondering when you were going to react. Um, so the ash came from below. That dude gets slammed by putting the mirror on the wrong side. That mirror should be close to the bar, not on the other side. That let them get in the bar. Echo's playing well though, denying entry. Okay, let's talk all this. Now it's collapsing. You have uh, the, the Echo put his drones in fantastic positions to be able to give you intel, know exactly where the buck is pushing from. And that, wow, he's 12 and 5. He is carrying hard, and the Echo's playing really well. And now you're switching to Ash. You have an IQ still. You got a BB. Someone's pissed. Jackal and Habana. BB is the frustration operator. I'm sick of this. BB comes out. Kind of situation. <clears throat> of course, it's trophy again. I would not have recommended breaching like that. I understand the context, but... From downstairs, that breach is very audible. Maybe over to your left.
And he leaves in rage. You should have died there. He had plenty of time to shoot you, but probably most likely Pika's advantage. Or a slow reaction time, one of two. You spazzed on the alibi that you just killed by killing the prism, shooting the prisma. Pure luck. Yeah, I think that was a hip fire headshot. I think it was still hip fire when you shot when you killed him there. A pulse should have had you dead. I didn't see if he still has a gadget out or not. Now you're pushing sight. You're in a good advantage. 5v2. Dude gets fired and you swung wide rather than hold. So as you swung, the Jaeger was able to take you down. But all things considered, definitely got lucky on the pulse. A lot of questionable play towards some of it. Some of your decision making skills put you in some situations that should have been a lot easier. Uh, for example, the only reason you had to engage with that alibi in the first place was because you used your gadget to explode the wall rather than just punching in. Uh, it was very likely that she wasn't downstairs until she heard the explosion. Um, so that puts you in a situation that you ne didn't necessarily have to be in. Um, so two biggest takeaways that I have to say is most likely patience. It seems like you're kind of rushing yourself. And then when you roam, have a plan, have a, have an area specifically you'd like to lock down and like to take control of, um, that way you can maneuver around it rather than just kind of aimlessly wandering the map. Um, sometimes it's good to adapt your, your situation on the fly, but to at least have an initial plan to go off of. That's it for the tips and analysis of that game. If anyone else would like me to analyze their clips, there's going to be a link to a form in the description down below where you can submit your videos. Now, this is the first clip that I received, and I'm hoping that I, as I get more, I can find some clips that have more universally teachable moments, and also some where I can go a little bit more in depth with showing concrete examples on how you can improve your play. But I need to start somewhere. So with that being said, my name is JPZ. Take it easy.